Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, James Sweeney, coming at you. Not out of focus, but without color because the sun is directly behind me here. Setting in Venice Beach, California. Yeah, I'm still not back on Wall Street. I'm still not on the East Coast. My West Coast trip continues, but we got ourselves a new trading week ahead of us. Not only a new week, but a new week with a new president. At least uh, so far, right? And uh, let's take a look now to see how the markets are shaping up to start off what should be a wild and interesting week on Wall Street. U.S. stocks rallying to record levels this Monday as investors cheer trial data from drug makers Pfizer and BioNTech indicating the COVID-19 vaccine is more than 90% effective. The announcement was seen on Wall Street as a sign that the pharmaceutical industry may soon have a way to control a disease that has derailed both the U.S. and global economies for much of 2020 while also killing more than 230,000 Americans. And travel, restaurant and hospitality companies that saw their stock shares plunge as COVID surged while shares of cruise operator Carnival rocketing higher 39%, Southwest Airlines up 22%, Walt Disney 14% as investors bet a vaccine may allow more vacationers to attend many amusement parks and getaways. Bank stocks also rallied JP Morgan Chase, Bank of America, Citigroup all rising more than 10%, Wells Fargo 13% higher, and today also marked the first trading day after NBC News and several other outlets projected that former Vice President Joe Biden won the 2020 presidential election against President Donald Trump. The call came four days after Election Day and amid close counts in several battleground states, but President Trump still not conceding amid, cla amid claims of voter fraud. And lastly, some advice, Monday Madness indeed.